should this should pull up on here. This is a very scuffed start to the stream, but like oh, we we pop off. It's a very scuffed start, but we pop off. I streamed at 3 a.m. to make that video that I posted on my YouTube, which you should go like. It's you know selfless promo. Hold up, I have to set my um my. I have to, I have to, um, what's it called? I have to set up my sellout timer. Give me a minute. Yes, I have a sellout timer. I'm, I'm a loser. I sell out constantly. Fattest sellout of my, I'm a fat fucking sellout. I went to all my friends. You know how I did it to you, Stazzy, and I messaged you to go subscribe to my YouTube channel? I went through everyone on my fucking, uh, Discord, and, like, went through the entire thing, and was like, Hey, you should come subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> w. W, you should just keep making accounts to sub to <laughs> me. Yeah. Turn it down. Bitch. Timer. Um, not 50 seconds. Uh. No. 30. Thirty-three seconds is gonna be, or three, three, thirty-three minutes and thirty-three seconds is gonna be my sellout timer. Yeah. No, it's it's. Oh, I'm finally loaded in. This game is really pretty, and I love this game. Don't play on cursed, cursed. Um, don't play on the cursed setup, so. Look at my pirate! Peep the fit? I'm a big man. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. I'm a barrel. So, would you like me to teach you the basics? So you obviously figured out how to pull out your gun. <laughs> so you obviously knew how to pull out your gun. Do you do the scroll reel or do you go into your inventory tab? Well, there's two different ones. There's the, like, the wheel of inventory. And then if you press, like... The other one, it'll bring you to your resources and equipment tab. So, I'm trying to figure out which button it would be for you to... So, you know the other, you know the button that allows you to access, like, your settings and stuff? Yeah, there's another, there's another button you're gonna have to press, I don't know, on computer to activate your, like, resources and equipment tab. Because for me, I have it all memorized on control there. What each thing's each thing's doing. But once you find that resource and equipment tab, it'll also. Hold up, let me include your audio. I think- I- I need someone to watch over my video to see if- Actually, no, Tony's not in that video. Uh, I'll have to- because I was originally streaming, um... What's it called? Sea of Thieves with Tony, that was gonna be the first upload thing. Just to see if I can- other people can hear each other in my streams. But... 
Oh no. Uh. Yeah. So, did you figure out how to activate the inventory thing? Well, it has, like, your pirate log, your ship log, your quests and adventures. I forget what button it would be for... I forget what button that would be. I'm gonna search that up for you, just because I'm, I'm nice. Ha, <laughs> W. You found the musical devices. I wish you were on controller, this would be so much easier to teach you. <laughs> so I know the controller like controls pretty well. Do you know how to emote? Did you find the emote? The emote input? Oh, I have- there's guild emotes? That's cool, I didn't know that. I'm learning things. I'm learning. Hold up, you wanna see my favorite emote? Paint me like one of your French girls. <laughs> Hold up. Do I have the crab dab? I, I need to put on the crab dab. Give me a minute. This is a horrible emote, but it's one of my friend's favorites, so I use it occasionally. It's going on to the last page. Where are you? Well, emotes are a pain to get because they cost real life money to get. Yeah, they're a pain. But, um... But look at the stupid emote. Hit the dab. Hit the dab. <laughs> Grab dab. I'm covered in gold. I'm cool, I'm covered in gold. I've been cast. Grab that. Grab rib. So, follow. Yeah, that's how I figured it out. So, this is what we call an outpost. Okay, this is what we call an outpost. You know, this is where we spawn. And this is where we will also probably end our adventure, usually. Usually. This is the tavern. This is, this is, this is a weird dude that, um, we don't need to worry about him. We also don't need to worry about the Athena's fortune stuff yet. You're, you're, that's gonna be a while. That's like the end goal of Sea of Thieves. I've already gotten that. End goal. Uh, yeah. So, this is also, the sh this is like the story mode things. Like, they're called Tall Tales. It's a story mode thing, basically. But... Sea of Thieves is an open world game that every- like, there's other crews, there's other pirates that will probably come and fuck with us. Other, like, actual people. Um, so we have your clothing shop. This is your clothing and vanity chest. You can find these on your ship and on... They're outside, like right outside the door. You can find these on the ship as well, but I usually use the outpost ones. I- I learned all the NPCs' names. Yeah, that, you'll get to see what kind of close. Yeah, you start off with 20,000. I'm at 46,000. Until four. next time. If you want to buy clothes, buy clothes. You kind of are rocking the sailor class. <laughs> I like your model you chose. Your your model you chose was good. I'm gonna probably reroll my model again. But the chunky dude's kinda funny. How are we today? I don't wanna be chunk. I'm gonna look around the horizon again. Alright, what are you buying? Good day there. There's so much stuff. We can we can We can look around in a minute. There's so much stuff I gotta show you and then you can come back. Okay. 
so this is the equipment shop, so it gives you like better cosmetics for your like compass, your you know bucket and stuff, and your lantern. Uh, and right, and this is like where you would change your equipment. You can find it on your ship too. Uh, this is your weapons. It basically, does the exact same as the other three or other two. I can count. Here's the best part of the game. So. Right here is one of the one of the three main factions. There's there's technically two others. There's two others. Well, including guilds now. There's three others. So there's six factions, and, and excluding Athena's Fortune. Uh, this is the Gold Hoarder. They're a bunch of stinky guys. They'll give us um, like treasure maps to go hunt treasure, uh, and then we bring the treasure back to them. Um, they're all stinky. I hate them. So this is the Order of Souls. This is this is the Order of Souls. Um, their email. They'll send us on missions to go kill skeletons and bring back their skulls. She kind of she kind of a baddie though. Um, here is the. This isn't one of the factions, but this is the check from Pirates of the Caribbean, Calypso. Because they added Pirates of the Caribbean related tall tales to the game, so there's another set of like story missions we could do. Relating to Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, this is another one of the main factions. This is the Reaper Reaper Bones. This is this isn't their actual like location, they just added it to the outpost so we don't have to sail all the way to the Reaper's Bones. But um They just like chaos. But not good chaos. I hate them. I hate them. He is feral. He's a feral boy. He is gonna get. Uh, this is... <laughs> this is, um, the chick from Monkey Island. There, that's a, like, an old-timey pirate game. I never played it, personally. Uh, and here's one of the other factions on the outpost. Um, this is my least favorite faction. Yeah, this is our ship. It's called the Jester. Um, because we're a bunch of clowns. So, this is the, um, Merchant Alliance. They're basically what you would imagine merchants to be. Uh, this is like a little quest board that has, like, quests put up by other players. They're usually really bad, though. So, I don't recommend doing them. This is the Shipwright. You buy a lot of, like, your ship cosmetics from her. Right up here. Look for the big fat man. She, you, this is where you change your ship cosmetics and buy ship cosmetics and other things like captain sea voyages. So if you ever end up buying your own ship, then you would you would be able to buy stuff from her. Uh, this is our ship. There's one last thing I have to show you on the outpost. This is our ship, though. I'll teach you what everything does. Struggling, struggling. So, this is the mast, or the, the, the sail thingy that, like, lowers and raises the sail, this, like, one right here. You did the Maiden Voyage. Oh, that means you have the Pirate Lord jacket, I think. That's e it's either you have the Pirate Lord jacket or hat. Oh, you didn't sail through the sh shroud? Oh, that, that would have been a- that's a really cool thing to say. This is obviously the anchor. This is your cannons. I will probably shoot the cannons if ever we need to, because I don't know how well you can aim. But then there's nothing to shoot. You don't even have cannonballs. You don't even have cannonballs, madam. That's that's a little too far. Um this is the um harpoon. Ooh, I'm trying to kill a fly. There's, this is the harpoon, and harpoon stuff, obviously. Well, it, all that's usually used for is to harpoon, like, treasure out of the water, or harpoon your teammates. Uh, right, right over here is the mast to climb up to go to the crow's nest. Uh, you can see the name of the ship, the ship crest. And then... On the mast, you can also see, um, on the mast, you can also see on the other side, the name of the guild that my ship's pledged to. Right here. 
sales. Knocked instead. We have the weapon thing to change your weapons. If you want to use- I usually use sword and pistol. That's my preferred thing. What? You want to be a sniper? You can be a sniper. Uh, this is the map table. This is where we, we look to find things. Okay. Yep, here's the- this is where we propose a voyage, so like when we went to go buy like um, treasure map from that gold hoarder dude, this is where we would put the treasure map down, this table right here, and we would go and hunt for that treasure map. Don't ever vote for this, this is pure- the like hourglass thing is purely for PvP. Not- not good experiences. This is the captain's log where you can actually like see the ship's events, this little book on the side. Like what we do, it'll be put in this book and then if people sink us they can read what we did. Yeah. Below deck we have the bed. This is where you get drunk right here. It's this little grog thing. The cooking. If we ever get meat or anything, we can cook. We have our food barrels. The stuff, the like, the vanity, the equipment, and the clothing chest. You also have pet chests. Uh, those are all for... Yeah, they cost real money. I have a lot of pets. Hold up. Here. I bought a lot of pets. It's nice. You can have Stormy. You can pick Stormy up. You a thick kitty. I'm gonna take Stormy away for a minute. I'll take Stormy away for a minute. I'm gonna have to show off all my pets. I have no name for this one. So. It's Captain Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. Captain Barbosa. So this one's only as cute this one's only cute if you sit it down. Look at its mouth. But look he has keys. He has keys in his mouth. I'm taking him away from you. Then we have the monkey. You little old man. Another monkey. I spent a lot of money on this game. The pets are worth it. They they recently added foxes, and I have yet to get a fox. They've recently added foxes. Yeah, that's his, that's why he's named that. Shark the bait. Ooh, uh, uh. Oh, they also recently added skeleton pets that I want to get. You're all wet now. I just splashed you with water, because we're in a storm. Which of my pets is your favorite? We're gonna have- I usually have Stormy out, but we're gonna have Mercia out. You can throw the buckets of water out this side of the- like, out the back of the ship. Okay, right here. Yeah. So, also down here you have your wood planks, so if we take damage, then, like, there's a wood barrel. Yeah, we can fix up the ship. If we ever take fire, this is a, the water barrel where we can, like, pop this water from this barrel and put it on the fire. Uh, yes, that's why we're just gonna wait for the storm to pass. And if it gets too high up, then it's fine. We'll just bucket. But, 
Um, so, is there anything else I need to show you on the ship? No. So, while we'll be, our ship will be fine, it won't sink from rainwater. Um, yeah, we won't sink from rainwater. We won't. There's one last thing I have to show you on there. Two things, actually. I'll show you two things. Right here. So, I love the way the game looks in the storms. I don't know why. I hate being in them because they're really annoying to sail the ship. But, like, it's really pretty. So, at every outpost, there's this place called the Sovereign's Tent, which is this place right here. Uh, this is where eventually we will be able to, like, sell- sail for our guild, specifically. So we'll be able to throw up, like, a guild emissary. So we could sell for Nocturne's Tide, in particular. But, so, this- this place is for, like, people that don't have sea ships can come and sell all their loot instead of having to sell those individual pieces to the correct places. You can just come here and sell all your loot. And it'll do all the- like, it'll spread out the loot between each faction, um, correctly. It's actually really beneficial and takes a lot less time. So, yeah. She follows me, yeah. They also pee. They also pee. They pee. She'll pee. If you watch her for long enough, she'll pee. It's really funny. Even the skeleton ones pee. We're gonna make sure the ship isn't taking too much water, then I'll show you the last time. Oh, Angel! Naughty's friends in my chat, I just noticed it out of the corner of my eye. You smell, Angel. She called me a dork. It's not nice. The struggle in there. Oh yeah, our ship just got struck for by lightning. Here's another thing I'm gonna teach you. If you ever hold out your sword during the, if you hold out the sword during a, like a storm, you there's a higher chance of you getting struck by lightning. Yeah. Come on. It's cause I shot. It's cause I shot. Oh, <laughs> like you can pet her um, with the action or the thing you do to um, shoot your gun. Press that button. It's I believe primary action. No, the other one. There you go. Oh <laughs> god, I think I've gotten you attached to that pet. You can shoot them out of the cannon, by the way. Everyone I know does it. So, this is the Pirate Legend hideout, which is like... These people. Right here. These people. There's- there's- I'm gonna show you the Pirate Legend hideout. So watch this really cool animation. Okay. If it works the first time. Oh yeah, she dances. Is it not working? I'm, I'm being denied access to the council. Give me a minute. You've been you've been gained, given a seat on the council, but you've been denied the rank of Jedi. Nasty. Yep. Star Wars references. It's not working right now. I don't know why. I'm having performance anxiety. Yep. It's just. Yeah, performance issues. Come on, work! Don't make me look crazy!
Mercy is mine now. You can have Mercy. Wherever she lands up being. Ladies first. <laughs> Not that evil. She's just having a dance party. Someone's just having a dance party in my chat. <laughs> By themselves. It's so lonely. It's gonna take me ages to load into the Pirate Legend hideout, so you'll probably be able to explore it without me. Yeah, it's gonna take me ages, so give me a minute. <sighs> I also don't know if my Discord audio will carry over to my stream, so they could just be imagining me, like, not talking at all. It's the Nightbot. It's the Nightbot. You always have one viewer, and it's usually a bot that's watching your stream to make sure you aren't freaking Twitch TOS. So this is the Pirate Legend hideout, um, this is where, when you get Pirate Legend, which is, I'll teach you how to do that, uh, this is where you can come and hang out. Um, this is the fat dude that you met when you did the Maiden Voyage. The Pirate Lord. Yeah, he's cool. I like him. I think he's cool. Um, we have... And here we just have, like, you know, fancy clothing shop. Um, and then over here is where you can buy, like, really, really expensive ship cosmetics. Once you get to Fire Legend. Like, some of the, some of the ship cosmetics are, like, eight, eight million gold, uh, gold coins. Like, they get expensive. So, you know that hourglass thing I showed you? So... The thing on the ship. So, when you get to level 100 in that, right? You're able to, like, open this door and go further into the hideout. And then you're also at level 100 and they're able to get the ghost curse, which will basically make you look like... Him. It'll make you glowy. The ghost curse will make you glowy like him. Um, it's my favorite of the curses. I've yet to get it, though. Um, let's about in on the outpost stuff we need to do. What would you like to do first? You want to buy clothes? Well, at some point, 8 point... 8.5 million is the standard for a lot of people that play this game really, really often. I don't have that much. I only have 40k. I want to see if you're good at making your character look good, because a lot of people struggle with fashion in this game. I love fashion in this game. Yeah. While you do that, after you do your fashion thing, what would you like to do, Matt? Madam Stans. We could do- we could- We could either start on the story mode thing, or do one of the, um, three factions, like, missions. That, or there's, like, sea forts and, like, siren shrines we can go fu uh, fuck around with, but... That's up to you. I'll let you decide what we do. Since this is your first time, and I've done about almost everything. But... Which, uh, you want to do, like, the treasure hunting quest for, like, the gold hoarder people? Because you have the gold hoarder quest, like, they're just a bunch of treasure hunting stuff. You have the skeleton hunting quest. Uh, and then you have the Merchant's Cargo and Animal Capturing Quest. Uh, and then further down the road you'll get, like, 
lost ship voyages for merchants where you go and like hunt down a ship that sank that has like a whole bunch of loot on it. Uh, then for gold hoarders you have the gold vault, which is one of my favorite quests this, quests in this entire game. The gold vault's really fun. Um, and then you have the ghost fleet for these order of souls, which basically means you just fight a bunch of ghosts. Like ghost ships that will fire back at you. So, which one would you like to do? Which quest, madam? We could do the, um... The animal one is very, very boring. I'm not gonna lie. Like, merchant stuff is very boring in general. You just get crates and then you go around to islands. Uh, the gold hoarder vault is very fun. It's... I'll get one for us. Go. I'll get one. Um, I'll get gold for the door. So, once you figure out how to access the secondary, like, inventory related thing, the one that I was trying to help you figure out earlier, um, you'll be able to check your, like, reputation for each faction, which is how you, like, monitor how much of that faction stuff you have done. So, when you get, I believe, yeah, it's 50. Once you get 50 and three of the factions, so like the Merchants, the Order of Souls, and the Gold Hoarder, then you become a Pirate Legend. So that's like the main goal for a lot of people, is to become Pirate Legend. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff, like the Tall Tales, because there's an entire storyline. Like an entire story stuff. And a lot of people don't do because it's decently long. <laughs> I'm laughing at your face. <laughs> this is screenshot worthy. I'm screenshotting your face. That's gonna be the, um, that's gonna be the, uh, the, the, what's it called? The, um, please don't crash. Why'd my scream crash? No! Please reload, please reload. Yes! Okay, save my stream. I just gotta watch it closer. That screenshot's gonna be, um, the, like, What's it called? The, um... What's the word? What's the thing you put, like, the, um, um, I can't think of the word. Of the thing you put on your video to, like... I forgot what the word is. Let's take a look at your pirate. You look quite fancy. What if- oh, hold up, I'm checking to see what did you get. That's- that's like the entire of one set, I believe. What do you get from Maiden Voyage for completing it the first time? I recommend getting- in all honesty, I recommend changing the dress to the Pirate Lord Jacket. Pirate Lord Jacket. You should have gotten it from doing the Maiden- Oh wait, you didn't complete the Maiden Voyage. Never mind. You just did the first bit. No, the dress is nice. You look kinda emo, but... You can work with that. You like the dog a lot. Come here, vote for, vote for, vote for thy emissary. For thy emissary. There you go. Now we go back to the ship and we're gonna set sail. I'm gonna teach you to do the one thing I hate, okay?
gonna you're gonna learn the one thing I hate, which is how to sail the ship so that I don't have to. I hate sailing in this game, it's like the least favorite part of the game. Even though it is a pirate game, I hate sailing the ship. I'm gonna put down It's not not for some people. It's just for me. I I I hate it. Time to sell out! Sell out timer! Uh, vote for the voyage real quick. Yep, I was just raising the sail so that we don't move until the voyage was down. Right over, not map table, I meant, I meant the quest table. Right over here. So, here's the thing about this quest. Go to your, like, wheel of things you have access to. Like, your bucket, your compass, that, that wheel. Mine says press A for quest. What does yours say to, um, to view your quest? It's, like, in the middle. Press that, there's another compass there. Pull that compass out. We have to follow this compass and dig stuff out. Let's dig stuff up on each island from this compass. So we follow the direction it's pointing. Yeah. So. And we're sailing back into the storm. Damn it. Is that a person? No. I'm, I'm looking across the horizon to see if I can find people. Oh, we're gonna have to sail into the skeleton fleet. That's a fan. I I, shut up. I didn't jump off the ship. <clears throat> uh, once we get to the skeleton fleet, I'll sail us through it. Yeah. You wanna take the wheel? See if you can learn how to use the wheel. So that that one that looks different from all the other ones, that's your middle thing. And once you're like straightened out, it will like make a little vibration noise, or it'll make a noise that will indicate that you straighten the ship out. I'll tell you when to straighten this out. Right. But during storms, you're going to have to fight the wheel to try to, um, keep going straight. Yeah, tricks good for us right now. And if you look up, you can see, like, the wind, like, as little streams. I fell off the ship again. You gotta get handle the ship for a minute. My thick thighs made me fall off. I made that couple long. But, um... Yeah, I'll be able to go back to the ship. So when you fall off the ship, a mermaid will come out of the water, and it'll make like a little like smoke signal, and then you swim to it and press like whatever, whatever your equivalent of X is, or whatever you use to grab onto the wheel, you press that same button, uh, and then you right, just teleport back to the ship. It's really cool. Going straight. Yep. Apparently, back in the olden times, you were supposed to like. I don't know how I know this, but you're supposed to uh, like go bow first and be uh, like low waves or like high waves, like like in storms. I believe to break the wave. I believe this island is the island we have to go to. It looks like it. We'll see when we get closer. <laughs> I usually just let the ship go straight into the island and I deal with it after. But if you want to park the ship, you yeah. can.
Like, there's the dock. We can try to park it at the dock. I can raise the sails. Paranos. So, how I like to do things, and this is just a very, like, experienced thing is, is, um, a lot of players will just raise the sail of their ship. Because it'll stop you slowly. Ah, see, we're not moving. Though I might drop it because we're in the storm, and then we'll lose our ship in the storm, so yeah. But a lot of people don't drop their anchor because of the fact that, um, it's harder to escape if you find yourself being attacked by another crew. Yep, this is the island. This is the island. Come on, man. Now we just follow the compass. Oh, you don't know how to do the sword along, Jet. I'll teach you that about that. Now you just follow the compass until it starts spinning. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it'll do that, but, yeah, it vibrates when we're on the island. Okay, now, you pull up your shovel. Okay. Now, other skeletons will spawn, and you're gonna have to fight them. Here's your, here's your ca crash course on combat. So holding down your primary action, which is whenever you use to swing your sword, will do like a sword one. Oh, I just got struck by a lightning. Ow! I'm watching that back. Hold up. Yeah, I got struck by a lightning. I'm on the ground if you want to try to revive me. Just walk up to me and look at the button. Yeah, just, just, just retreat. Ow, that hurt. I got struck by a lightning. Yeah, it's my time right now anyway. It's fine. One. Yeah, they have guns. <laughs> yeah, isn't that fun? What do I get level 23? Yeah, offer your soul so you can go to the ferry. You're gonna go see the really pretty ferry. Um the, the door under the ferryman is going to eventually open up, and that will allow you to come back to the ship. I'll take care of the- I'll teach you combat when you get back, but I'll take care of the skeletons myself. <laughs> that or I'll get struck by lightning again! Yes, but I Oh, they dropped the loot, so they dropped, dropped some loot that we can move to the ship. Pick up the bus stone. Oh! Pick up the ammo. Yeah, I killed them all. Well, whatever ones you killed, you killed. But I killed the last one. Yeah. So, now we have some loot to take back to the ship. Right down here. Right next. Now we take this back to the ship. How we do it, how I do it, as well just take it. To the we'll take that too, but you can only carry one thing at a time. You, you can only take one thing at a time. Oh, I would just bring it to the dock and then, um, what's it called? Put the heart and the harpoon it when we get it all there. Because then it's just faster to move it and then hard it. I would just set it- the harpoon's right here. The harpoon's right here. So you could just set it like... right... here. I set it right there. On the edge. I'll move it. Uh, is it also on the side? Uh, there was that one other piece of loot we had. 
and we just head to the next island. Unless we already have the... So go to your quest wheel where you went and saw that compass. Uh, and then look at the map. We got a map parchment. See if there's the X marks the spot on the map. No. No. It's, it's the worst thing that we could have possibly gotten. Like, that's, that's really bad. We just, we got screwed. The sto- the storm keeps coming the way that we need to go, so... You've been hard bent. Now we can just- I like to organize the loot on the ship. You can look around this island before we go. You know, because we just got here. If you want to look around the island. Well, there's, like, cool scenery, I guess. There's nothing really relating to our mission on here. I just set it next to the cannon. We have to go around the island. We have to go out and around the island. Now we just have to go out and around. Yeah. And then we have to just, you know, not hit anything. Don't pull a beam. I, you could just pull around to the left side. It's, it'll get us to the same place. Uh, you see that, like, place right over there? Like, right in front of us. That is Port Merrick. That is my favorite outpost in the entire game. It is very pretty. One day, we'll have to go look at it. But right now, we got a mission to complete. We're pirating. Uh, the island... The island is pointing this way. So that would be east by southeast. So east by southeast on the compass would be that line right there. That's between the east and southeast. You're doing pretty good. I'll adjust the sails whenever we need to. This game is really pretty. We might actually run into that. Uh, you see that big ass like cloud that's kind of glowing? up in the sky. That is a skeleton fleet. That is a that is a world event. That it is a, it's a pain in the ass. Um turn slightly to the right. Turn slightly to the right. Hi Tony. Like uh go southeast. I'm just teaching Stanzi Sea of Thieves. Are you enjoying yourself so far, Stanzi? I I've been try I'm trying to avoid PvP as much as I can for a bit. I don't want to because Yeah, that's how it is with me too. I can't I can't do it without people. I believe it's this island right here. I can't do it without people, or else I cry. Well, we can just harpoon it. Uh, there we go. So now we just jump off the island, or jump onto the island. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a, um, we got a robot here. Before, yeah, the ship's gonna stay. Right. I'm gonna teach you how to sword lunge, okay, Snazzy? 
and do it how I do it, okay? Because because this is a very important part of the game. So, block with your sword. Let's stand on some land and do it. Block with your sword. And ho while holding block, hold the hold down the attack button and then jump. You have to time it like a certain way. It's like as you're going, as you're going. So like as you start moving, I press jump. It's like a one, two, three countdown. And once you get that like memorized and you're able to jump, you can go very far distances with the sword launch. You did it? Yeah, you just had the first jump. Yeah, this is a cannon robot. I love cannon robots. I recommend avoiding PvP as much as you can. It makes me hate this game. PvP is the worst part of this game. Because we're going to park it onto our ship. Yeah. So now we have an extra cannon. Yes, but I'm going to teach you another thing really quickly. So these kind of cannonballs. These are fancy cannonballs. They do fancy things. You know the cursed cannonball idea that I put in the New Horizons game? This is basically what they are. They do different effects to other people's ships or to other people. So, they're funky. Now we go back to the island and we can continue our voyage. So, hold up, I'm gonna teach you. Just, I wouldn't do it on the rowboat. I would do it on top of here. Yeah, just come up. Go up on a run. So, now you can just, you can sword lunge. You got this, you got this, I'm watching you. You're, you're being watched. You did it! Uh, now we pull out our compass and we find the piece. I'll let you find it. I thought skeleton all the whole time. We get another one that sucks. But I know what island that is. I I know what island. Yeah, we have to go to the next island, which I believe is that island right there. But I might be wrong. Yeah, that one's a bit more funky. Um, you can't stand too much in the water, or else you won't be able to sword lunge, because come into the water. Watch how you sword lunge in water. You don't go anywhere. So, like, right here on the beach is a good way to sword lunge, so you jump and, like, get all the way over here. Well, I hate Jar Jar Binks. He's I I hate Star Wars. Want to go up into the nest? Nice? Why? Why'd you piss off George? Jar Jar Pinks has nice lips, man. 
Yeah. How about we talk about Jar Jar Binks for, uh... How about we talk about Jar Jar Binks for, like, ten minutes, so that when I make George edit my video, he has to hear about us talking about Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> that would be so mean. Darth Jar Jar is such a great idea. Jar Jar Binks being a Sith Lord is a great idea. Well... George <laughs> Jar Jar Binks is the ultimate Sith Lord. Yeah? Nothing. You just ring the bell. So, like, if you see some- like, that would be for if you don't have your mic on and you see someone on the horizon, you can ring the bell. That or if you just want to be really annoying. What do you mean? Oh, that, yeah, that's a- that's a Reaper's chest. We don't want to deal with those right now. Especially since we're doing a, um... Yeah, 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 I'm great at parking. Okay. You just took hella damage. You gotta go heal yourself with the food. Go take them in here. I park really well, actually. Fight my Yeah, Jared Drippings is the best character ever. Um... Take them, take, take the mingo. So there is a hierarchy to food. There's a hierarchy to food in this game. Okay. So I'm gonna do fruits first. So banana, banana, banana good. Banana very good. Shh, shut up. Ban banana not very good. I lie to you. Banana not very good. Bananas, bananas are the, like, the worst. Then coconuts, then pomegranates, then mangoes, then pineapple. Pineapples are the best. Also, my dog just ate that fucking coconut. The pets will eat food. The pets will eat food. No. Don't read them aloud. You got the snazzy. <laughs> Would you like to try again? Or are you just gonna take the- you're gonna take the swim of shame. The swim of shame. 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 Come on. Come on. You got this? Got this snatch. This is my favorite island, by the way. I love this island a lot. Oh yeah, there's ghosts chasing you. That's a ghost. Yeah, they're like skeletons, but ghostly. Oh, there's there's another creature. Uh, those are called uh, ocean 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 crawlers. Those are not fun. Either. Um, yeah, we're getting attacked like hella hard right now. I'll beat up. That one? Stay away from that big one. That big red one? Scary. I recommend shooting the big red ones. We're not on the Oh, we're nowhere near our ship. I just, that's so, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, there, I just completed a commendation that I spent like ages working on. So this is a, um, come here, stand here. Oh, well, you there? Because you're probably already full on ammo. Um, yeah, just find food. Like right here, there's food right here. You can find them on the ground, or you can find, uh, them in barrels. If you need, still need more food, here's another coconut. 
My dog ate it! My dog ate it. So, this is a... This is... Stay away from that, though. That is a siren statue. You break those for free loot, but they also do damage to you. Yes, we can. Which, we can then also use this ammo crate, which I'm gonna bring closer to us. Tried to pick it up two times. My pet. Uh, I I don't care. I, I have a lot of HP right now. You can shoot it still. It'll help. You, you got that, Snazzy. You can stun lock the ghost. Hold up, find him. There we go. So here is the um the thing we just got. We actually got you can get up to three of them from one, so we just suck, but yeah. Um I'm trying to find some more food. Hold up. Where is a barrel? Barrel's right over here. Right over here. To your right. Right in here. Uh, and there we still have to find our little map piece. So, right this way. I jumped back because I didn't want there to be skeletons. Does this map show the map? The X marks the spot. No, it doesn't! This map sucks. This map sucks. Well, there's one thing I'm going to show you on this side. Then. We have to get the final piece. There's one other thing I'm going to show you. So come here. There's my, there's my favorite part of this. Just run. Just run. It's fine. Just run. My favorite part about this island is right over here. Hold up, we gotta find it really quickly. Right here. Okay. It's a little hideout. Please leave, this place is occupied. Watch this. Look, look over here. The door up. You can go even further. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? But this is just, I love this hideout. I love this hideout for like the lore significance, because there's a huge story in this game that I love so very much. It's, that's, that's me. I'm, I'm calling you from Wisconsin. So, let's leave so that we can continue our voyage. <laughs> I was just messing with it. Hey! That was a very nice. The campfire. So if you if you had wood and then if you had your if you had wooden food you can cook them on islands like the you know. it's really fun. 
So, I'm gonna teach you what this is. Take this from my hand. Oh, that's another quest thing we could do. But, um, take this from my hand. Go to your inventory. Throw it at him. Press RT to throw it at him. Oh, not RT. Whatever your primary. Not that one, the other one. That is a fire bomb. You can you can cause arson. 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 Don't do arson to our ship though. Or per mer or or poor Mercia will die. What? Yeah, I saw that too. Hold up. Did we take too long to fuck around on this island? Oh no, okay, it's not that close, it was just perspective. Which direction do we need to do? Yeah, we don't- just that uh, that mermaid jump. Is all we need. Yeah. Um, the next location's this way. I'll kill it when you come this way. Sniped! You can't sword lunge with your weapon, or with your- with that loot, so you'll have to bring it to the ship, like, manually. It's a pain. Oh, uh, your mom. I love your mom. Your mom is such a great shot. Just put it down anywhere. Watch the language. <laughs> language. Bleep that. Yeah, children might watch. And I also, like, always put not made for kids in my thug. Hi, George. We're almost done with our, um, voyage anyway, so... Our mission that we sent- we sent. This is why I shouldn't be allowed to sail the ship. Me. Right now. Uh, mine's on- well, we're currently on a sloop, which is a, um, two-people ship. But we're almost done with our thug, so then we can switch to a, uh, galleon since all of you guys are here. Nice. I'm very proud of you, Snazzy. Yeah, we're gonna make that. Yeah, you're gonna have to turn to our, turn to our right about. You're gonna have to go choose your like character model. I also recommend going and doing the maiden voyage, which is like the tutorial. So. Turn to our left again. To our left, straight to our left. Straight, straighten us out. You got this. Yep. Ugh. We're gonna use my galleon, which is... We're gonna use the coven. <laughs> Turn to the right. The island in front of us is not the island we're trying to go from. So just go around that island. That's not the island we're trying to get to. 
It's a lot more difficult to go through Port Merrick than you think. I want to make a really mean joke that I'm not gonna make because it's it's really mean. You, though you have to choose the model, which is how you like. It's just your fucking body type. Yeah, it's just and then you get like different clothing, cosmetics, and curses. You can get curses, clothing, beards, hair color. Um, all types of stuff. This game is purely based on cosmetics alone. Not, there's no like skills or anything you get. It's just pure cosmetic grinds. I hate them. They're horrible. Maiden Voyage. Be the Maiden Voyage. And actually complete it, unlike someone. I know, but then you don't get the really cool jacket. The Pirate Lord jacket is so, like, useful to use in every single cosmetic, like, black cosmetic. What? You chose a lady? Really? I thought you were gonna choose, a, like, a very fat man. I was gonna, <laughs> that's what I thought you were gonna do. Ugh. Snazzy was straight, straight ahead. Snazzy told me she was debating on choosing Fat Man. I changed my bot, my character's body like type very often. Just cause I can I haven't found my dream pirate yet. It takes a lot of people a lot of times to find a dream model for their pirate. Yeah, Sapphire. She's like a toddler. <laughs> she's like... A, she's a toddler. Yeah, no, no, Door left slightly. There's like that little bay area you can go into. to the island. Which side of the island is it on? It's on the left side. So, here's another thing I'm gonna teach you. Nazi. Come here. Go to the front of this cannon. Climb in the cannon. Even f this is how I get the further island to come lazy. And now we hunt for the last piece of our map. I jump back every time even though there hasn't been a singular skeleton attack. Where's the X? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, get back to the ship. Get back to the ship. Yeah, yeah, um... Yeah, we're gonna go back to the ship. 
Try your sword lunge, Snazzy. <gasps> you did it! You did it. So, now we just have to head to Lone Cove, which is like George's home island. We're going to ignore the fact that I just called George Lonely. <laughs> I said Lone Cove. I said Lone Cove was your home island because you're lonely. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's get away from this island. Yep, so to go to Lone Cove, I'm going to teach you another little trick, okay? So, I have it on, I have it marked on the map, I have it on the map marked. So, from here, from like right where you're at, come off the wheel for a second. There you go, wait for you to come off the wheel. Look back down here and you can see where I marked on the map. Yeah, so it would be northeast. Like, directly on this. Um, oh. I love this part of the map. I love the pretty water. Just don't... Don't go to the wilds. Don't go to the wilds or the, um... Ashen Reacher's area. Or it's the Devil's Roar. Don't go to the Devil's Roar of the Wilds, because it makes the water gray and murky, and it's really gross. Uh, we're gonna head to the island. But I believe in you, so... You might hit an island, but I believe you won't hit the island, so... I know. Directly in front of us, turn us to the right. Like now! Just go around this outpost, and then go... Yeah, you get the coat. So, you see that island right in front of us? We gotta go around it. Yeah, um... Like, if you come... Did you complete the entire maiden voyage? George? So, did you go through, like, the shroud and stuff? We gotta see all that. Um... Oh, there's more to do. There's more to do. So, he will tell you to, um... I just do it because I like the cosmetic it gives you. Um... We have to go that way. Like, around that island and that one. I say that way. North. Um, he will tell you... Tell you to like pull his sword out of a skeleton, I believe. Um, and then you. Oh, you already did that? Then he'll tell you to come back and talk to him when you want to leave, and then you go onto your ship and you repair the ship. Uh, you're on computer or on controller, it's why. But, if you want to, like... <laughs> nice one. It'll be fine. I've never tied on the Maiden Voyage, so I actually don't know where it puts you. I think it just puts you back in. Can that hit? Will that hit? Will that hit? Will that hit? Uh, it's just a... It's just a, uh... Like... 
pest thing. Like, it's it's not your actual ship. It's just a, um... You see that rock-like formation right there? Go through that, Snazzy. But no, it's just a test ship. Yeah, just to make sure that I don't have to steer it during through the formations. You're turning you're turning hard. Yeah, yeah. I told Tony this too. I hate sailing in this game. My least part favorite part of this video game. It, I'm glad you enjoy it, cause that's not <laughs> like that's not my speciality right there. Yeah, that looks like you're gonna make it. You got that, Snazzy? Right now, me and Snazzy are doing a Gold Hoarder Voyage, we're doing the, um, the Vault one, so, but, I'm thinking that since we're all together now, we could start the Shroud Breaker Telltale. I love the Shroud Breaker Yeah, we only got 90 minutes, so if we don't complete it, we we'll just come back, but it I bought it with real life money. My aim is... That island right there is the island we need to go to. Oh, Mercius. Cowering. Get off the... get off the wheel for a moment. Come here. Straighten us out. I'll I'll raise our sails here in a second. But um, look at what I can do with Mercia. I can place her right there. She has a little ring on her tail too. George, you or not George? Fucking um, uh, Tony, you should have named your ship the Phantom Menace. That would have been funnier. Half a million isn't that much, really. In this game, at least. Half a million isn't that much. Our ship's gonna keep moving for a little bit. That's X, he's on controller. I wish Snazzy was on controller, because then I could teach her this game even better, but... Bitch. Found it. It's just giving me. That is an explosive barrel. Go, 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 go
go, go. Wait, hold up. This isn't the right chest. Wait, no, yes it is. I'm wrong. That was way too much creatures. Oh yeah, you can make the chest talk. I love making the chest talk, hold up. What island is this? Kraken's Falls. So, so with this treasure, that we just got. This little... <laughs> it's funky. Look at it. But with this that we just got, we can either go and sell it now and, like, get okay money, or we can go do a vault, which would give us, like, hella, hella money. Okay. We gotta go to Kraken's Falls, which would be... It's a decent long journey, and it'll be a hot minute, so you're gonna have to... So, it's southeast. And it's through that... It's, I believe, through that, um... Skeleton fleet. No, it's not. Oh, luckily. I hate skeleton fleets. Um... Though we might have problems, because there is a, um, there's a Reaper's Bounty right next to it, and then there's going, there's a Reaper 1 on the ship, uh, on the server, which Reaper, you know that Reaper, like, Bounty of people I showed you? Yeah, when you put up their emissary, everyone in the entire wide world can see you. Everyone can see you. In the entire wide world. We could try to avoid it, we just have to go, like, on the other side of the, um, island. Uh, I believe 20k. The snazzy started with 20k. Yeah, that would be, like, peg legs for- yep. Yeah. yeah, we can go. If you see that glowing beam in the sky, just go towards that. Yeah. Well, that's where the island we have to go to is. So if we go that direction, then we're in the general direction of where we need to go. But then when we get there, we go around it and go to the other side of the island and just kind of hide out. One. You see that, like, little thing to our left that's glowing? Just off the side. That thing to our left that's glowing, that's a C fort. Those are, um, those are fun and they're really easy and there's some easy money in them, but... It's just full of a bunch of ghosts and then you just kill the ghost over and over until, the, like, the ghost captain spawns and then you kill him and then you win. It's really simple. That started with 20k, so I was like, I guess that's the starting now. Don't go broke, George. Don't go, don't pull a snazzy and go broke. You only have, huh? Snazzy, snazzy, um, took my dog to Mercia. She, she likes Mercia a lot. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, so you're... 
Do you have vanity, clothing, and equipment, and then weapons? Those are the different cosmetic types. I can sit stormy there. So you have a little friend. But also watch this. I know the lyrics to that song. I love that song. It's the fucking pirate legend theme. Also, we're going the wrongish way. We gotta go more that way. Yeah. Uh. Well, that Reaper 1's not there, but there's still that Reaper 3, but they're on the whole other side of the map. You should be able to see the island now that on the map if you do the little like look back behind you trick that I thought. Yeah. You should be able to see it now. Aren't you on a galleon? That's such a that's so annoying to sail with two people. George is addicted now. You know, at some point, the cosmetics get up to like 8 million. So, how do you like the game so far, Snazzy? Rate, rate the game out of 10. Rip the game out of town. What's your favorite part of the game? Don't say the pets. Sailing? I- I'm too, like, I bounce off the walls so I hate staying on the ship for too long. That's why I'm always running around. I'm like a like a squirrel. Go more towards the thing now. Go more towards the 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 the, the, the reaper chest thing. We only have an hour, by the way, before uh, before Herb stream. So I recommend that we just we we should start the Tall Tales like stream them for a different stream. Start the adventure of the story mode of this game. And Tony, if you're gonna be there, if we're gonna be there, me and you can't help them with the Tall Tales. They have to they have to figure it out themselves. They get. They get one hit. They get one hit from both of us. But I want to see someone do it. Because usually I searched up the answers for a lot of the Tall Tales, so I don't- I thought that was boring and it made the Tall Tales really boring, so I went into a different playthrough of them, where I didn't search up the answers at all. And it was really fun. Yeah, we're good. I'll tell you if we're not. No. Yeah. We could just do the s we could do the um like C for you. C for you.
Yeah, nice. Okay, so let's see. Come on. Um, the skeleton fortress ones, you would have to look and see if there's a giant skull in the sky, and then you sail towards that. Oh, the ghost, the ghost fort. Um. Oh yeah, the one with the messed up school is quite a Fort Fortune. The one with just orange eyes is called the Fort of the Damned, and then there's just the regular old Skelly Fort. Go to your clothing thing, George. It's it's a section in your clothing. But Snazzy, what were you gonna say? That is a chance. That's a chance-based thing. Uh, so. Well, technically, it's not a chance-based thing, because one of the tall tales lets you fight a Kraken. But it's like a different type of Kraken, I guess. So. Eh, for new people, it isn't. It really is. It doesn't want us to complete our journey. The Shrouded Ghost, which is a lie that the game keeps telling people is real. It's not a real thing. It's a lie. Shrouded Ghost propaganda. It's a lie. It's a lie. The, the joke, Tony, is that everyone thinks the Shrouded Ghost is fake because of how rare it is. That's the, that's the joke. Snazzy's also an emo woman. Oh. Oh. Almost there, Snazzy. The wind's really far up the ice, guys. Can't say that! You can't call George a pole dancer on my stream! He is not a stripper! I said it. I said it. Turn it to the right. Turn it to the right, right! Snaz, Snaz, there's a ship in front of us! to the left, Snazzy. No, let's not check out that ship. That's the ship with the Reaper chest. No. We actually took zero damage. We took on zero damage. Go, uh, go to the other side of this island. So go around it. And then, like, park on the other side. Right, uh, left. Left. I'm watching the time just to make sure that we don't miss D&D. I know we were talking about Krakens. There's no actual Krakens here. There's dead Krakens, technically. You gotta see dead Krakens. Like those rib cages right over there? That's a Kraken rib cage. Which, technically, Krakens shouldn't have rib cages, or bones for that matter, because they're octopuses. Squids. Logically, they don't have bones. This game's flawed. This game sucks. 
This game sucks. It's not actually a good game. Try to still left right now. So we don't crash. Okay, right here is a good parking spot. Turn us to the right, just so that we're not like. Ah, this is actually fine. Good parking. I'm proud of you, Snow. Take this. Take this. I don't want. I want to be able to sword lunge to the island. And then we take that to the island. So I'm gonna do the. I know, this is the wildest. This is the worst region of the entire game. We're gonna move the ship closer after we get the loot, but I just... Motherfucker. Move, Stazzy, move! Better not. So, a vault, uh, your job is going to bring the loot right outside the door. As in, like, right outside the vault doors itself, not the, like, other vault door. So there's one vault door, and then there's a second one. The second one's where you're gonna bring the loot out to. Um, then, while you're doing that, I'm going to try to solve the riddle to get the really fancy chest. Uh, and then when I solve that, after I'm done solving that, I will help you bring the loot out to the other door. I gotta figure out where the vault is on this island. I forget. This is the only island I don't know where the vault is. By memory. So, we're gonna have to deal with me finding it. Shark bait. Ooh, uh, uh. I believe it's over here? I think it might be over here. I, I don't think it's a great idea. Um, yeah, it's right over here. It's just, I don't know exactly where over here. Look for a way to, like, a place to put down the... Oh. I found it, it's right here. Alright. Yep, so if you if you find a medallion, that tell me where that is so that I can use that, okay? But if you find the medallion, just tell me. Forget how this door opens. So bring all the loot outside to the store, so all the chests you see, bring them out here. Well, I solved this damn riddle. Yep, bring them out that first door so that you have time to bring all of them out. Yeah. There's a lot of loot up top that you're gonna have to park for the floor town. Sailing the ship is decently easy, I just don't like it. It's just unenjoyable for me. Uh, to I'll teach you how to do it here in a bit when I join you guys on the Galleon. But also the Galleons were like one of the worst ships to learn how to sail. Mermaid Shrine. Oh god, they've ran into it. On a galleon? By yourselves? Oh, y'all are fucked. Don't pick up the parkour up here. I'm dropping stuff down for you to move. I'm moving stuff for you. Uh, what does it look like? Yeah, you did. Okay, that did. Yep, that's the final medallion. I would have not found it without your help. Bring all that loot out now. 
Um, make sure the Yep. Uh, it's fine, just start bringing it out now so that you have whatever loot you have. Fancy chest, fancy chest! I'll help you move stuff out. I'm gonna go up top and start dropping things. So just look for the stuff on the ground. Bro is just hungry. Uh, just start bringing the stuff out. You still have time. The door makes a different noise. The door makes a different noise when it's time to start rushing. Like... Decently. Decently soon is when we want to... Yeah, that noise is when we need to start hurrying. Don't c come back, come back, come back, come back. No, Stassi! Stassi, no! Stassi, no! Just pick up the globe! Stassi! Stassi, no! Stassi! I must leave you, Stassi. Just drown to death, Snazzy. Yeah, now you gotta go visit the fairy man. He is very nice. I love the fairy man. Fairy man's one of my favorite NPCs. Hi. Don't don't anchor it. Don't anchor us. Jo hey, Tony. No, we're moving the ship to go be able to like harpoon it. Or I'm moving the ship around. We're relocating ourselves so that we have a better like ship position. So moving the stuff. So to move, to get the stuff so that it's not as ar like arduous to get the things. Thanks, I'm moving the ship. Oh, Tony disconnected. Did he get disconnected? Oh no. You might just be alone on a galleon. I'm watching the time to make sure we don't um, play over seven eighteen for me. So. An hour. So wasn't it eight thirty? I thought it was eight thirty. Yeah, so I I we still have time. We have close to time. I thought it was gonna be exactly at eight my time. Yeah. 
here. Yeah, this is gonna be a little dangerous. We're gonna, we're gonna test how... We're gonna see how well I actually am at steering in this game. Raise the sails somewhere. Not very well. Well, we're, we just got our loot, we're gonna go sell. Oh, poor Stormy. Stormy gets so sad, like, so sassy when Stormy, like, hears damage. It's funny. You got that 2v, the 2v1. <clears throat> I'm also watching the time on my stream. George, you down to edit my stream? So I can post it? I'll give you uh, 30 bucks. <laughs> 30 bucks. I ain't gonna say I should put it move. I'll have to make their. I'll have to find 30 bucks, but I'll play it. They will spit poison on you. So now we can just go back into the vault and start moving our stuff. <clears throat> yep. All that you died for. Ugh. Tony, you didn't just take- I took like 20 minutes at the start of my stream to teach Snazzy the basics of ship control and all that stuff. That's messed up, Tony. You gotta be a better teacher. Captain's chest. Captain's chest. Well, technically- Technically for this one, there's, um, the Chest of Ancient Tributes, which is the best chest you can get from here, but there's only one of them. Yeah, there's only one. Which I ended up getting- that was the riddle that we had to solve to get. The chest. The worst, the worst part of this game is the selling process, like loading and selling loot. It's my least favorite part, on top of sailing. I just have a, a feeling in my gut that our ship's sinking, so I'm gonna go see if it is or not. The ship is sinking, I think it might be, but I don't know. So I'm gonna make sure it's not. Just cause... It's not, okay. I just, I get, like, weird feelings like, oh, my ship's sinking. And it's sometimes, like, actually benefited me. I've saved my ship multiple times. Ooh. count how many actual trips we'll have to do. So on top of this one, it's one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven chests, so it's, it's two and a half-ish. That's like, that's like, <laughs> I'm actually not allowed to say it, let's never mind. I'm not gonna say it, I'm not gonna say it. I'll say it later. I'm not allowed to say it because Herb will get mad at me. 
No, it's more that Herb will get mad at me if she finds out I said it. It's just something about a certain D&D server that not a lot of people like. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can kind of just draw the connection of what I was going to say. Yeah. Not reading the books. Sorry. Just had to make that comment. English class was my favorite class of all time. English was my favorite class. That and history. I really loved history. I hated math, but I was really good at it. Uh, I also really loved history. I, I really loved learning about World War II. Don't make any comments that I know you want to make. Yeah, of course I did. Of course I loved it. Yeah, because I have the last chest. It's No, you can't sing so. I didn't wanna I didn't wanna have to swim to the shark. Everything. Now we have to do the process of getting out of the the place I put us on. Yeah, we're gonna go sell it. Do you do you need me to move the ship? Do you need me to move the ship back and back out? Nah, I, I got us in here. I feel like I I should be the one to get us out. I actually recommend putting it all into the rowboat, because uh, it'll be easier to sell if you put it all into the rowboat. I'm just kidding. Uh, you just press uh, whatever your drop button is. Like, you can do that without getting into the rowboat. Where's our closest island? You're gonna have to fix up the ship. Uh, it's Ancient Spire. But that's also where they're at, so we're gonna go north. Yeah, here in a second. We're gonna go... What's the closest outpost that is at Ancient Spire? I really don't want to deal with these guys. Fine, we can go to Ancient Spire. Are we just not moving? Alright. Oh, it's because we're anchored. Yeah, we'll try to play tomorrow. Catch you all later. This is gonna damage our ship a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can drop all of them wherever. Ooh. Tony, will you, will you learn how to edit videos and then edit my video for free? Because I'm broke and I don't feel like paying people right now. I got other adult things to do with my money. I might learn how to edit videos myself, just so I don't have to pay someone else to do it. Because especially being a small creator, I don't have money to just, you know, put it into business expenses right now.
Yeah, you can have your name in there. Like, you just be like my lovely. Thanks to like, I'll reference you every time. I, I'll be like, yo, cut that out, and then I'll be like, thanks to my lovely editor, you guys don't get to see the certain words that I'm not allowed to say on YouTube. No, no, a montage of hours of editing certain curse words out of my YouTube videos. No, it's like not even like actual curse words, it's just showing us. We got that sound. But we officially hit the two hour mark in the stream. Yep. At least I did. We started our streams at the same time, so. Mm. What stream? Uh, I wasn't paying attention, I sound out. Oh, well, I... I feel like commentary is a very important part of, like, content making. And so I probably would never do something like that. Well, I always, <laughs> I always feel like coughing, so. I'm a very talkative person. Yes, move the small stuff on the robot. We still have chest in it. We're almost to an outpost. I'm shocked we didn't get Kraken or Megalod like our Megalodon. The Megalongdong. That's my favorite one. Yes, yes. They're very fun. They're really fun to fight. I love the Megalodon's my favorite fight in my opinion. Of like the ones that will pop up in the world. I don't like that, so we're not we're not selling here. Actually, we might have time to sell here. We're just gonna have to avoid that ship at the island. Like fast. We're gonna have to sell very fast because that ship at that island is a reaper ship, and they will definitely try to come mess with us. Well, this is like the closest outpost to us. Perfect parking skills. So, next play is parking. Go on to the ship and grab this. I'm 
I'll also come and help. Oh, I forgot the hard point destroys the ship slightly. Yeah. Ooh. I want to start, like, some sort of, like... You know how, um... YouTubers eventually, like, make, like, group channels? Like, where they post, like, similar content on that group channel? I would love to do something like that with my friends. We have one last thing to move to the island. <laughs> you got stuck. Step snazzy, I'm stuck. <laughs> Come on. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. No, hold up. Get stand in the stand in the loop. We're gonna take a screenshot. Hold up. This is the- I wanna take a screenshot. This is Snazzy's first loot haul. Hold up. Um, I'm finding the perfect, uh, emote. Hold up. You can emote. Take- choose an emote. And... Take a screenshot. No, I just took a screenshot. That's what fucks my stream a little bit when I take screenshots. Hold up. Tony! Alright, now we can start selling our loot. Just to this guy right here. Yep. He will take our money. You did pretty good for your first ever loot haul. And that's it. Well, there's one last thing we can go sell. Come with me, Snazzy. Don't sword lunge like I did. Go to the... go to... over here. Step ladder on the stuff. Go to lower our emissary. Okay. It'll give us some extra money. That should give us an extra one thousand. So did you, so we're gonna have to figure out how to open your resources and equipment area where you can look at your pirate log and ship log. Just really quickly. But it will be important so that you can access your um your things. So so Oh, I'm becoming a VTuber. Well, I can I can teach you a free way to do V and the VTuber stuff. I can teach you a free way of doing VTuber stuff. I have a free way of doing. Oh, what's it called? Press Q! Snazzy. 
What does that do to you? When you press Q. Um, trying to figure this out. I'm not either. I don't like the way I look. Um, why are you looking at me like that? Um, so, this is very hard for me to figure out, because I don't know what button it does, but... It brings up, like, resources, equipment, pirate log, and ship log. Quest. You do that. You keep pressing buttons. You'll figure it out somehow. <laughs> Try tab. Try tab. Yeah, I was thinking what was the opposite of escape. I was like, oh, tab. So now go to your pirate log and go to reputations. You can see the other factions and what your level and their reputation is for them. So, I know, I don't know how to fix it. It won't fix itself. Well, like, you can see your gold hoarder's reputation and stuff. Ninety. <laughs> Damn. You went up fast. Yeah. Uh, you can also see the tall tales. So, you can look at tall tales. Yeah. Uh, you have build rats too, which are just like challenges you can do for stuff. You can also check my, um, my guild, Nocturne's Tide. Yeah. But, I think this is where I'm going to call the stream so that I have time to relax before D&D. But, it was very fun streaming. Nazi, how did you enjoy the game? How did you enjoy the game? Would you like to say goodbye to um, Mercia before we go? One day I'll teach you how to do it, but that will not be today. You enjoying the dog? 
you enjoy the dog. Uh. Are you gonna comment on my funny hat? My funny hat. Hold up, look at this dance. <laughs> this dance is so stupid. Hold up. Um, hold up. I'm looking at what kind of emotes I have. Here's another one. Together now. Here's the best dance in the entire game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have my stream. Dun 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 dun